The Secret in the Rise is an entertaining movie, but it's not a great one. There are some good moments in the film, and it does have a great cast with Nicole Kidman, Julia Roberts, and Chiwetel Ejiofor. But that's really the high notes of this movie. It's the kind of movie that if I see it on cable, I'd watch it. Or if I was willing to spend a few bucks for a matinee, I might do that. But it's not one that I would rush to the theater to go see. I wish that it was, but to be honest, there's not really that much greatness in this mystery. Uh, it is a tale about revenge and obsession and tragedy when one of the main character's daughters gets killed by a uh, suspect that seems untouchable. And what do you do then? You know, when it comes to revenge or you know, seeking justice. But with this kind of a cast, the movie should have been better. Uh, there were some very funny moments in there and uh, a great performance by Dean Norris from Breaking Bad. But again, there really wasn't anything surprising about this film. Uh, there was one jaw-dropping moment at the end that once you saw it, it's like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. But then after you see it, it's like, oh, well, then again, I'm not really that surprised. It's not the kind of jaw-dropping moment that you would get at the end of the movie like in The Usual Suspects, which still left everybody completely surprised. And nowhere the kind of plot twist that you get when Darth Vader tells Luke he's his father. And that we have come to expect you know, from movies, especially with mystery movies. But, you know, I, I'm not going to say that this movie is a total bad movie because it isn't and I think it I think the performances by the cast make it better than what it should be so that does say a lot when you can get the right cast for a film but it's not one that I would ever probably watch again except if there was nothing else on TV and it was on cable for free that's the way that's the kind of category that I put this movie in um, I'm interested to see if maybe there's a director's cut where there's some added scenes that help tie up the film. Sometimes the director's cuts turn out to be uh, a lot better and make the film a lot better. Kingdom of Heaven is a great example where you do need to watch the four-hour director's cut to see how great that movie really is. Um, but I'm almost afraid that even with the director's cut, this movie would still seem too predictable when it comes to revenge and obsession. Uh, Julia Roberts, there is nothing surprising about her character at all. She's good in the film, but she's not Aaron Brockovich, and it's not a strong Academy uh, Oscar performance. So I would definitely give this movie a 6 out of 10. It's adequate, it's okay, but... Like I've said before, it's not great, and it should be better for the kind of story that you have. Um, and that's really about all I can say about The Secret in Their Eyes. But hey, if you're looking for a good movie to rent on Redbox whenever it hits for a buck, you know, for that, it's worth sitting down the two hours to watch the film. And of course, probably the best part of the film is Chiwetel Ejiofor, because he's pretty much great in anything he does at this point. But, like I said, at this, only the cast really saves this film, um, and that's all, and that's really all to look forward to, is just to see their performances. We give it a 6 out of 10.